I'm here with Regu, and you're an MBA too. Yep. And uh, you uh, were one of the lucky people that went into private equity. All right. <laughs> so um, we have a lot of a lot of students who are uh, coming into business school and thinking, hey, you know what? I'm going to try to go into private equity. But uh, sometimes they may not know what private equ equity really is. Besides, that it's kind of a interesting place to go. But and uh, so let's kind of start with. Um, Defining what it is, but can you give me a short uh, explanation of this about the industry? What is private sure. equity? Sure. Um, so private equity is where um, a set of investors either invest their own money or money that uh, they have got from friends or families or even institutional investors. So they pull in the money into a fund and uh, identify companies that they can uh, acquire or at least have an equity stake in the company. Uh, so that's taking it private in the sense that um, it, they own the company, they are responsible for uh, the operation of the company because they're usually on the board of the company. And they what they do is they provide expertise in terms of operational expertise, uh, financial expertise, and um, general management uh, of the company. And uh, they improve the company in these three sectors and try to sell it at the end of uh, the, the time horizon, which is typically four to five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, they usually try to leave the, the company at a better, uh, in a more healthy uh, position than it, what it was, uh, because that is beneficial to them uh, because they get higher returns in that when they do that. Mm -hmm. So um, it's uh, taking a company private, improving it, and then um, you know, uh, getting out of that position. So that's yeah. typically what it is. So let's talk about companies for a second. And um, if you look at banks, consulting firms, <laughs> marketing companies, you know, you have pretty big players. Um, but with private equity, you don't. You have a few of them. Yeah. But, um, you know, a lot of them don't recruit in general. Yeah. They don't take people who are out of the finance industry. And when you arrived on campus, I mean, how do you develop a list of companies right. to approach? Right. And what, um, what are some of those examples? Right. So uh, it typically, uh, you know, a private equity does not uh, hire from uh, the MBA pool. Uh, the typical route is uh, from the undergraduate level. Uh, so uh, comp private equity companies usually, uh, if they come on campus, it's usually for an undergrad, uh, uh, you know, as an analyst. They hire an undergrad as an analyst. He works uh, typically two to three years. Uh, and either uh, moves on to be an associate or moves on to something else. That's the typical progression. Now, uh, through MBAs, it's um, it's a very um, difficult uh, road to, uh, route to take because it's not uh, traditionally done. Uh, so, what um, when I came on campus, the route I took was I was trying to get into the investment banking slash private equity route. So, mm -hmm. you know, I focused on investment banking and I focused. A little bit on private equity, though uh, you know, because the chances are typically slimmer. Yeah. Um, but then, uh, with private equity and off-campus uh, search, it's usually you know you plant the seeds, you make it some introductions, um, you know, you keep the conversation going, and then when something opens up, you know, you latch onto it and uh, get your foot in. So, um, did you actually have a, like a list of companies you started, or, or did you right. eventually? eventually have a list once you started networking. How did that come about? Yeah, so uh, the way I went about it is, you know, of course there are, if you look at our alumni database, there are quite a few, you know, uh, people who are more typically from undergrad, they moved into private equity, or they were investment in investment banking and then moved into private equity at a more senior position. So it was a lateral higher than, you know, coming in from an analyst role. So you typically, what I did was I looked up, uh, you know, the alumni database um, and looked up the industry, search by industry, yes. and I found a list. And I contacted quite a few people. Okay. The good thing about Michigan is that, you know, they will at least, they will talk to you. Yeah. you know, they will may not be able to, you know, hire you in, in their company, right. but they'll at least tell you their experience and maybe, you know, forward you to somebody else. Or, uh, you know, it's, it's always good to keep a conversation going because you never know what will come yeah. up. That's, that was my first step. And the other uh, resources is always, you know, online, uh, things that are happening online. The private equity club here is pretty active. There's a, they have a speaker series, so you uh, you can go and sit in those series, and there are professionals from the industry who come in. Uh, so And there are a lot of uh, networking events within Michigan itself. So that's kind of what I did in the beginning. Okay. 
you know, we had talked about um, they hire junior analysts, BBA types, yeah. and they'll ha hire experienced people from the financial industry, but this, but the right out of the business school is actually not a very common route. Yeah. So how, how, um, how did you get something? And then right. what do you, what, what would, uh, what kind of things did you do, you know, as an intern there? And how yeah. did they put an MBA to work? Right. Yeah. So uh, the way I worked was, um, oh, the way I, uh, for at least what they told me as the reasons to hire me was that I have a financial, um, I worked in the financial uh, services industry for five years uh, with banks like Merrill Lynch and Barclays Capital. So I'd done a lot of quantitative work and a lot of, uh, you know, modeling, financial modeling yeah, okay. kind of work. So that uh, stood out. And um, also, um, I think once you get there, uh, typically what they do is, uh, for me, it was more about the, I'm really interested in the space and in the quality of the work. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't, I didn't really put a lot of emphasis on the title I would get. Or would I be a junior guy or a senior mm -hmm. guy? Or okay. you know, I was a little more flexible. So they had work, work, and then you said, "Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll yeah. do the work." Yeah. yeah. So gotcha. that's the kind of attitude I think you require. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you know that got a foot into me. I mean, I, they went. The interview process lasted for quite a bit, for almost uh, four weeks. So the they were looking at analysts, uh, you know, with some experience. Mm -hmm. um, because you know they have a lot of hands-on like valuation experience and things like that and I had to really convince them that you know I'm up for it and you know I'm though I've had you know five years of experience I don't mind you know uh, starting from scratch and because I want to get into this sector because it's really interesting for me mm -hmm. uh, because you know primarily it is strategy and finance and the surprising part is people underestimate the strategy portion of mm -hmm. private equity it's pretty big so can you so, describe a little bit about your internship what kind of, what kind of um, business school type yeah. work did they have you do? Yeah, uh, so uh, typically well, they, you know, this was a pretty small shop uh, with two partners who sourced the deals, uh, and we, we there were two associates, and uh, you know we would uh, screen the deal initially, okay. and we would make a recommendation whether you know should we go forward with it uh, or not. So the deal screening process would be you know industry industry research. That the company in a good industry is it you know profitable? Look at the balance sheets, you know, look at the 10Ks and see if they everything looks you know good and there are no holes and there are no you know pitfalls, and then make a recommendation because there the volume is pretty high. Yeah. You know, it's around 50 deals almost in a month. Oh, okay. so wow. you know you go through uh, at least those are the ones that the bankers pitch yeah. to you. So it takes a while to you know there's a lot of work usually. So there's you go in and typically I've I've done like. I've screened two or three deals uh, you know, on a, you know, it's an average, uh, you know, you sometimes even four deals, you know, you read, read through pitch books pretty fast. Initially, when I got in there, you know, I used to look at them very in a lot of detail and look at, you know, mark everything and be very detailed, but then you pick up as to, you know, where the loopholes would be and it gets much faster. Okay. So, um, you screen them and then you, uh, you know, make a recommendation, and then you proceed to the next step. So. What would you say is the main skill or skills that you needed on, the, on this job? Um, I mean, what skill? So um, just the, either technical skills okay. or what kind of like, sure. you know, either hard or soft. Yeah, I think a lot of it is, uh, you know, you get, uh, you know, going through analyzing the 10Ks. Okay. You know, looking at, uh, you know, having your accounting basics really, yeah. you know, up to the mark really matters because, you know, um, these are, you know, there are a lot of gimmicks that people can, you know, they hide behind numbers, the results can be, you know, massaged because whenever a company is trying to sell itself, it wants to portray a very good picture of itself. So, you know, they hold back certain uh, payments or they, you know, pre uh, they, they book some pre-sales even before it happens and things like that. So you got to look at it, uh, you know, in more deeply and more uh, and understand the whole picture before, you know, you make a recommendation. So. Okay. Um, so that's it for, for part one. We're actually going to continue the this dialogue. Um, talking about how do you go about getting a job in private equity. Sure. Um,